In this reaction, we have lead to nitrate and sodium iodide. This is a double displacement reaction. The lead and the sodium, they're going to switch places. So we'll use a little bit of a trick here to deal with this NO3. Since we have NO3 here and here, we're going to count that as one thing. And this is something you can use when you're balancing double displacement reactions with these polyatomic ions. So let's balance the equation. We have one lead and then this nitrate, we see it here in here. It stays together in the chemical reaction. We're going to count this as one thing. So we have one nitrate times the two. That gives us two of these NO3s, these nitrate ions, one sodium and one iodide. On the product side, lead, we have one of those, just one nitrate, one sodium, and then iodine. We have two iodine atoms. So to balance it, you can see by counting this nitrate as one thing, it just makes it a lot neater. Why don't we double the nitrates here? We could put a two in front of the NaNO3. So we would have one nitrate times two, and that'd give us two. So the nitrates, they're all balanced. One sodium times two, that gives us two sodium atoms. We can see right now we have one sodium here, two here, one iodine here, two here. Coefficient of two in front of the sodium iodide, the NaI. We have one times two for the sodium, that gives us two. One times two for the iodine there, that gives us two of those, and we're done. This equation's balanced. So with these double displacement reactions, it's often useful to count the polyatomic ion as one thing if it stays together. Also note in this reaction that the, the PBI2, that's the lead to iodide, that's a solid, so it's going to fall to the bottom of the beaker. It's a precipitate in this reaction. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for PBNO32 plus NAI. Thanks for watching.